And I'll get a... <laughs> when we get like two trigger points or something. Yeah, so that's that's just this dude. Rinsed. Mint. So look, the game, the game like deliberately hamstringing us there with a level one finish. Ridiculous. <laughs> yep, the higher the level, the more the mate drops. Yeah, okay, great. So we can look at the path again. Um, I don't know if we want to though. We can enter the cavern from here, but who knows what's inside? Just still on the go. Course. Right. Again, just the path. I'm not going to do that. I mean, there's a chance that like one of them would have had something in, but I don't know. I'm probably going to end up having too good to use syndrome when it comes to me trigger points. But you know, what are you going to do? So we're now at the cavern of judgment. Still part of heaven's gate. It's actually pretty bright in here, thanks to the walls grumbling. We're almost there. I think so. Don't relax just yet. Uh, now we've got five, let's check it out. Sunlight sifting through the holes, it's beautiful but also sad. Oh, lovely. <laughs> okay. So, literally nothing interesting. And I, I can't really hear it. Um, more climbing. One slip in it so long, so okay. Thanks, Rose. Yep, I'm totally game to take these on. I can't even remember what happens if you run, actually. I think you might just go back like one screen, and then you'd still have to... Um... Okay, so he's used like a slow debuff on us there. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure... Because there's elements as well, as you can see, like... Uh, and Hurriar's got... Uh, holy element, Laurelay's fire. Um, obviously, there's in other weapons it'll be it can be anything like it can be like lightning, physical, um, dark. I think that's the only other ones. But certain enemies have certain weaknesses to. Um, I'm just wondering if there's like. Oh, okay. So that tells me what they are with me R button. So. It's unblockable and the last strike pierces, which is nice. If I do this, okay. I was wanting to see if I could like mouse over, mouse over. <laughs> if I could uh, sort of, you know, highlight an enemy, it's a better term. And um, see what they were weak against. So this guy's just enjoying slowing my party. Yeah. Probably not gonna bother with double slash too much, if I'm honest. Okay, that's you sorted out. And even though the last strike pierces, um, it didn't hit the the other one because he wasn't directly behind us. Bullet dive. Didn't even hurt, man. 271 total damage, that's an out. Yeah, so formation switch to push us both to the back, but then we moved up again, because <coughs> there needs to be someone at the front. Um. Yeah, okay. Debating whether to use double slash there, but I don't, like, I'm going to have to wait until next round anyway, I think. Unless this will do the job. Do you think it'll do the job? 100, 100 attack over 8 hits, so theoretically it should, but it might not, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, so the um, the animation and the, uh, the sort of like, um, I don't know. The screen, what we get where you get like that, that sort of hand-drawn thing and it tells you what the, the overdrive skill is. 
That only happens on level three skills, if I recall correctly. Oh yeah, we we absolutely done them. We did sixteen hundred damage there. Rank. Nice. More portions like we needed them. Have to actuate the retribution. So now we're getting a little bit more, uh, you know, context as to why we're here. The ancient power must be awaiting to save Asgard, but Riviera might be destroyed in the process. But if we do nothing, Asgard will be overrun by demons. So we destroy the demons along with Riviera, which, you know, is a bit of a bit of a, a dick move given that like uh, you know all the sprites which I, I suppose they're the equivalent of like you know humans if we're talking if we're, if we're saying this is analogous to heaven and hell and you know earth then Riviera's earth and the sprites are like humans so why don't you just accept the inevitable it's a small price to pay after all Riviera is simply up guard now you know that it was renamed after the Ragnarok. But now it's peaceful, the sprites are no threat. You forget that sprites once served demons and they reside in Ancient of God. I could care less about your opinion of them. Or anything, later. Eh? Our duty as Grim Angels is to defend Asgard, is it not? Yeah, let's not look at the sunlight, it's boring. Okay. Hector's back. Grimmel, servants of the gods. Report the situation. Currently, we're moving through the Cavern of Judgment. Let's see, we have a little time. You think you'd just be able to tell that, Hector? Riviera may already have reverted to God. At this rate, another Ragnarok is inevitable. Very Grim Angels. What are you hesitating for? No one asked you to think. Yeah, I ain't. <laughs> Concentrate on completing the mission. But yeah, Ayn's like, you know, well, he's not as cold hearted as later is. Let's check this out, actually. Step looks like it's going to crumble. Um, if I hit it, I might not be able to get up. I can't imagine touching it to do anything. Let's just whack it. You know what? Let's just do it. <laughs> yeah, and this, this is probably like, shoot. What did you do that for? You might want to... Okay, so here. We're going to have to dodge this boulder. Um, and I'm going to have to try and not mess this up. Okay, sequence. Up, up here. Okay, so that one was pretty easy. It's, it was the first one in the game. It was bound to be. But the, the combinations get a lot more... Um, complex. And... Uh, Okay, we got 5,000 points for that though, so that's pretty good. Yeah, they become like a lot more complex and the, the time limit gets tighter and tighter, so... Um, depending on how dexterous my fingers are, this could go... It, you know, it could go very poorly. Okay, so we're in area 1-5 now. Okay, sword in the ground here, so if we can get this... We should be able to get some more stats. If I can pull it out. Um, yeah, let's pull it out. I probably need a hammer here. Yeah. Okay, got it. Dragon killer, nice. So I'm pretty sure these ones um, don't necessarily... Have we got a power up though? So I don't know if there's an overdrive sk skill associated with this. Um, okay, so like here we've got nowhere to move so I'm pretty sure we need to go on the ledge. Um, but let's check out our surroundings. Yeah, so yeah, can't, can't win them all. Once we jump off we're not coming back. Yeah, let's do it. Even hurt. Oh, 
Okay, so they're obviously not as strong as they look, Ayn. Seems to have been taken to the bottom. Should we ride it all the way at the bottom? <clears throat> well, what what's the alternative? Okay. So, you know, Boulder Dragon. So here's a great time to use um, our Dragon Killer. Like, because for instance, we're not going to need 400 million portents. So I'll take one that's in a three stack, just in case. Yeah, um, with Dragon Killer, I'm not certain that you could, yeah, there's no experience for us. Certain weapons are just like, if they're unique, they have like a certain, um, like for instance, this is effective against dragons, so it should do a lot of damage to this guy. You can tell by the size of the bar. So like say, well, Laurel there, the, the, the bar underneath where it says magic's very small, that's, you can think of that as, um, you know, uh, how much damage it does. And it's quite big with Dragon Slayer, so we're going to prioritize using that way. What I mean. 377 is pretty good. And we'll later we'll just keep using Divide because it's. Um, I can, yeah, because he, well, for one, he can't use it. But, like, look at how little damage that is doing in comparison. So, I'm going to assume that this enemy is, like, resistant to fire. <clears throat> There's definitely a way of checking. Wait, Red Dragon. <laughs> It would make sense, wouldn't it? Maybe it's like select. Okay, so I can't change the position. Um, start. Okay, start's the one. Right. So I can choose the weight. Check out HP. Status. Can I check that out? Okay, yeah, there we go. So it's a bit convoluted to get there, but it is possible. So yeah, he resists fire, like, a lot. Um, weight against ice. Okay. So I'm glad I know how to do that, at least now. So let us go again. But yeah, like, imagine how much longer this battle would have taken if we didn't get that dragon killer. Oh, that was, mis that was a mistake. Yeah, that's what happens when I... When Ayn throws Laurel in. <laughs> but that's because I'm I'm just hammering the A button instead of instead of playing properly. Uh okay, we're we're, we're not using an overdrive yet, because he's nowhere near low enough. Just given how little damage we're doing generally, I'm not expecting a great amount of damage out of um We wanna get him pretty low first before we go for a an overdrive skill. Hopefully this doesn't hurt. Chaos Rain. That's not that bad. I thought that was going to be way worse than what it was. Okay. Um. I'm probably not going to use another Dragon Slayer because I've got a feeling it might kill him. So I might just go for just like a quick cheeky slice. And then he's probably low enough now where a Lost Seraph will finish him off. I don't know though. I guess we'll see. If it, if it doesn't work out then what can you do? I mean, because this is on emulator, if I was so inclined, which I, I like, I wouldn't for, for YouTube purposes. But you, I totally could just like save scum at every opportunity. Which I'm sure the first time I played it um, was on emulator, and I'm pretty sure then I did just save scum before every chest. But no, nah, I'm not going to do that this time. Around. We just, you know, <clears throat> we'll see how we get on. So yeah, we did actually get the kill there, but we didn't do it, with, like, we did like 370 total damage, so it was pretty tight. Nice, give me them trigger points. What should we do? I see a ledge below. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay, right. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> I was having palpitations for a second there. I was like, oh, I'm not going to make this. Okay, Silver Palace, nice. You know the drill, cheeky save. I'm fairly certain we're getting towards the end of this area. Probably about the hour mark, I'd assume. We're going to finish up. Well, it was a palace long ago. Heaven's Gate has fallen to pieces, leaving the palaces in shambles. That's the fate of all material things. He's such an emo. Save your sentiments for later. It's like he alternates between being like an emo and just being a complete badass. I am going to do this chest though. I think this one might be trapped. No? Alright. What do we get? An album. I mean, we've got plenty of trigger points, so we should, you know, use them up. Statue has an ornament on us. Not many demons have been here because, you know, it hasn't been pinched. Actually, hang on, let's take, see if we can take the ornament. Golden decoration. I'm assuming that's probably just more points. Yeah. Okay, let's get moving. <clears throat> I have no interest in ancient ruins. I'll just pout instead. Yep. Masters of the palace, eh? Um, I can't imagine us needing the dragon killer, but I'm going to take it anyway, just in case, because it's not like we've been going through the potions either. So he is actually pretty good for yeah. getting some slash and double slash because there's two at the front, so we'll get twice as much value out of it. But he'll have to do better than that. 72 damage. It worries me that he, uh, well, he's a kobold, isn't he? But like, kobold. And yes. <laughs> Apparently, the name of the enemy is Big Bear. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything to do like huge amounts of damage here, except for the the gremlins. <laughs> Fuck the gremlins. Yeah, let's do it because we'll we'll get a fair amount of value out of this. See, nearly five hundred total damage. That's not too bad. Later should finish this front one off here, then no doubt they'll get a break out, but it's fine. We've got portions. Ah, oh, it's an out man. Might might take the opportunity to take a potion. Where? What I The fact that you regen your health in between battles though has just meant that more often than not, unless things go really wrong, it's just I've never felt the need. Probably will top up here though. I mean, it's not like we're we're shy on potions, is it? Seventy-five percent heal. That'll do me. So we haven't actually unlocked the ability yet, but um, it's basically it's, it's just relevant to leveling up your your weapon skills. It's like a training mode. Um, okay, we'll finish you off. Yeah. So basically, you get to do like sort of mock battles against um, random enemies that you've already come across. At least in that stage, if I recall rightly. Um, can we kill you with this? Probably. Let's do it. Yeah, so... Um, because... Um, most weapons have durability. Like, there's only the Diviners, really, that don't. Um, using them on everybody to, like, level them up a lot of the time means that you don't 
have them for you know dealing damage with the the character you want to use them. So say if something's got 20 uses and I have to use 15 of them leveling up, um, you know, three different characters, two of whom can't use the weapon very well, it's not really worth it. Uh, but training mode lets me do all that without actually using the the durability. So we haven't unlocked it yet. But when we get the last, um, when we get new weapons, probably in between stages um, or in between episodes, I'll just grind that stuff out um, off camera because you're literally not missing anything. But you know, um, yeah, we've got loads of trigger points. We should we should check these out. Something in its hand. Oh, hang on. I don't want to drop down. I want to. Okay, we've got a power up. One agility. Nice. Let's see what this broken statue is all about. Even the sword is in bad shape. Should we take it? Who knows? I doubt it'll come in handy, but I'm pretty sure it's just points. I don't see any use for that. How about we polish it and sell it? Okay, so I guess we are dropping down then. Stone letters. So we were in stage 9, or area 1, 9, and we're now in 1, 6. I've got a feeling that I'm going to fall off here. And probably hurt myself. Yeah, let's not like, muck about with them. <laughs> with the chains. Yeah, Rose. Okay, do we go up here or across? Let's check out the chains before we go across. Okay, thanks Rose, making yourself useful instead of just slagging us off. And what do we get? A po power wrist times 15. Battle item, it will temporarily raise your strength. Yeah, so for things like this, where... <clears throat> Let's go across the chains. Like, I'll try and I'll try and get the use out of that. Um, just don't look down. Okay, more enemies. Yeah, so I'll try and um, get the use out of the power bracer here. It's probably going to drag this fight out a little bit, but um, death to all sinners. Right, okay, so yeah, so it takes three uses, uh, all it does is raise our strength, um, it doesn't, um, so it's, it's quite a large buff, don't get me wrong, but um, you can't just keep stacking it, it's, it's subject to diminishing returns, so like next time it might only give us like five, and the time after that probably only one, um, just to stop you, well, abusing it. So while it's going to inevitably draw this battle out, the the stat gain will hopefully make it worth it. Because we'll just get it out of the way now and then we don't have to worry about using it. Because I don't really bother with the support items all that much. Some of them are worth it, but like most of the time it's just, it takes up space that you, you need. Because at the moment we've got two weapons, a potion and this power, power wrist, right? But eventually our our party will have three people. And if they're all using like a different weapon, then that's three of your four slots already. So you're usually left with like three weapons and then um, some sort of support item or healing item. Okay, one down. Didn't actually pay attention to how much strength we got from the second use, but I can't imagine this will be too much. Three, yeah.
Didn't even notice. The fact that she heals off, it's a bit cheeky though. I reckon we've probably... Hmm. Okay, hang on, real, real quick. Let us check the status of this lady. She's quite resist like a bit resistant to fire. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna play it safe and just sort of stall out for another turn and then go for the, the overdrive. Kinda don't want to attack with uh, iron. I might just use the power wrist again. Tactically this time though, because I'm worried if I hit her again, then she'd be able to do another breakout and heal herself, which would, you know, iron can you stop please. Just let later take a turn. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, so this should do the job. Apologies for coughing my guts up there. <laughs> I've been uh, I've been ill with the flu. I'm just starting to feel better again. And a uh, full hour of talkings, it's taxing me vocal cords. I mean, we might have been able to kill her from full health with this attack, but for the sake of the trigger points, it's better just to play it safe where you can. Yeah, so 1002 damage, we, we could have done it, but, you know. Okay, so we learned strong blast. I'm not sure what that is, but no doubt we'll find out. It might be something worth it. Okay, uh, do I want to check out that chain? I mean, mebs. Can't even see the ground. Okay, so that wasn't worth it. But like I say, we're at a point now where we've got plenty of trigger points, so it's worth it. It's not much further. That is a relief, actually. <clears throat> as much as I'm enjoying playing this, I'm looking forward to having a drink and giving me throat a rest. Fire orb. Okay. Here's your resistance to fire. That'll come in handy. That's foreshadowing if I've ever seen it. Another chest. We should, uh, we should definitely make use of this. This is the shortest route Riviera. Yeah, you call this short. <coughs> Pardon me. Please don't be trapped. Okay, it's trapped. Poison gas. Right, what do we need to do? Down, down here. Oh, a whiffed. <laughs> okay, so we, we took the poison gas. 15% max HP, that's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. Wish I had saved scum dust. Can we still get the item? Okay, so, yeah, you don't get the item if you whiff. That's not great. <clears throat> Iron lost his wings and he received his diviner. What do you lose later? Do you want to know? Yes. It's not usually something I tell other people. Oh, look. Okay, so we definitely want the uh, beauty in the wyvern. We're gonna we're gonna take the dragon killer here. Let's check out what uh, this does. Okay, so it raises me fire defense. I can get experience off it. So the question is, do I want to do that or save it for the boss that I know is coming up? Strong blast uh, is strength to all allies, which is actually pretty good, given that most of the time. Uh, our damage dealers later. They might be worth using. And I forgot to take the dragon slayer, didn't I? Also, I have no idea. Yeah, because this is a screen recorder, but I'm not sure whether it's like a complete overlay or you know, like whether it, I've had two notifications there off the missus texting us. So I'm not sure whether they, oh we did take the dragon killer. Sweet. I'm not sure whether they're gonna show up on the video, but I guess we'll find out. If, uh, if it does, then I'll just make sure next time I'm doing like a little recording session that I'll, uh, I'll 
just turn the notifications off. Easy fix. Okay, so the last hit pays us, so we should be able to do some damage to her in the back line as well. This isn't going too badly, 